right, guys. So, uh, I'm, I was out doing some stuff today. I had to be in this area. It's about uh, 45 minutes away from where I live. And I was like, you know what? I haven't been out to this uh, retro game video video game store in a, probably about a year and a half or more. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to be out in this area today. Let's go ahead and stop by it. But it's called Circle C Game Shop. Circle C. Here in Waverly, Ohio. If you ever get a chance to come out here, definitely come check this place out. Like I said, I haven't been there or been in here for about a, about a year and a half or more. Close, closing in almost two years. This place is the last time I've been in here. I've been in here about two or three times. The place is freaking awesome. So let's go in and check it out. Alright guys, so... This is the awesome store I was telling you guys about. And I, I'm just gonna go through some of this stuff, let you guys see it. Of course, I'm gonna be looking over some stuff and possibly getting some stuff as well, man. Like I said, I haven't been here in almost, almost two years, right around two years. But every time I come in here, I at least try to get a couple of things. It's got a bunch of stuff in here, some really awesome titles too. Some stuff up here. So I'm going to try to go through it a little bit slowly so you guys can see. Definitely let me know down in the comments as well, man. If you see something, you're like, man, I, oh, did you get that? Did you get that? Of course, you'll see it at the end of the video uh, if I do end up picking up anything. Bunch of controllers, multi-taps up there. Freaking awesome stuff. Got the... Master System games, of course the Atari games. Always try to grab those up anytime I see them. Awesome dude, look at that one in the box. Like I said, this guy's store is freaking awesome, man. This is what a true retro store looks like, man. You got a bunch of cool stuff over there. Probably a little bit more harder to find stuff back there. Hey, look at that Sega Saturn controller. Awesome, awesome. And of course, look at that. The ball, yeah. Oh, some awesome stuff over here. Tell me this store doesn't look awesome, man. Of course, you got the snacks for the kids or whoever wants to come and get them. Come over here and look. Oh. Over here pumping stuff. And he's, he's got some pretty good prices too, guys. I know anytime I've ever dealt with him, anytime I've ever gotten anything, especially if I've got multiple things, he, he, he'll work with you too. Really awesome guy. And this is self, he, he, you own this too, right? I mean, yeah. this is, this is what I'm, that's what I'm trying to let yeah. them know. Like, he owns this place. Like, he built it on his own. I, I believe it's on, if I re remember correctly, it's on your actual property. Yes. In front of his home. So... This is, this is what I'm talking about. This isn't 18 years, like he said, this place has been open. And, <clears throat> and this isn't one of those places that's like got a corporation behind it and stupid overhead. Like this is his, his baby, man. So definitely if you guys are in Waverly, this is okay, okay, I want to make sure because I know it splits. Right, middle of nowhere, but man, if you're here in Waverly, definitely make sure to look this place up and come by. Like I said, I already gave you guys the name and showed you the sign, but I'll say it again. Such awesome, man. Like I said, I know I'm trying not to go real, real fast, guys, and let you see, man, but he's, he's just got so much. And this is just some of the stuff. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the side of me and behind me, like, you know, a little bit more newer or whatever. Like PlayStation 3, 4, and you name it. That's all behind me. But I'm trying to, yep, yep. So I just wanted you guys to. And like you just said, they are going to be expanding next year. And uh, so that's awesome. Here's this right here. Look at this. Some awesome NES titles. Freaking awesome, man. All right, well, we'll come right back and uh, show you some more stuff here in a little bit. Do you see Insomnia? Is All it right. Insomnia or 
Insomniac games. So here's some other stuff, guys. Yeah. We got PS5 yeah. in. Pretty yeah. awesome. Wolverine. Like I said, man, this store is so cool, dude. Got a it's bunch of stuff up game. here. This is a lot of like the PS4, or, I guess PS5 side or whatever. And then, of course, got a lot of the PS3 stuff over here. Goes all the way up. Of course, down here you got some Wii stuff. Really awesome. We got a lot of good box stuff too. Just so you guys know, as I've been doing the video, you know, obviously taking little breaks here and looking at some stuff that I was wanting to get. I do got a nice little pile over there, some stuff that I'm gonna be definitely showing you guys here at the end of the video. So pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Can't wait to show you guys what all I've gotten so far. But yeah, this store is so awesome, dude. A bunch of PS stuff, PS2 stuff over here. Yeah, once again, man, if you're ever in Waverly, Ohio, like I said, I, I had to come out here this way. I, I live a little bit of ways from here, but <clears throat> if you guys are ever out at, in Waverly, Ohio, definitely make sure to stop by Circle C in Waverly. Such an awesome store. The guy's really cool too, man. Especially depending on what all you're getting, he'll work with you on the price. Oh, drop something. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's see here. And we got some PS1 games, of course. That's an awesome one right there for the Dreamcast. Yes, sir. That one's really cool too. Not bad prices either. So yeah, we got this stuff over here, and like I said, he's got a store. It's not, it's not huge, 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 but he makes it work, and he's gonna be extending it too. So, and then he's got a spot back here where people actually can go, and they. I think that's maybe something else, but yeah, back back over here though, you can actually go over and you've got stuff set up to where people can actually play. It's freaking awesome. Like how many stores or even retro stores for that matter have something like that? It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And of course, got some stuff over here. I think this is like some of the magic stuff card stuff I'm not really into that and he's got some DVDs over here he's got a little bit of everything man obviously it's more about the gaming here but got a bunch of these stuff too so awesome man I know people that's collecting that kind of stuff but yeah freaking awesome man and then of course you got that stuff too it's not all just retro here more retro than anything but yeah definitely he's got some more stuff than just that but yeah so anyways, let me go check some more stuff out and be back in a little bit. All right, so just one more quick little scan, guys, before I get out of here on how freaking awesome the store is. And there's the owner. He's so awesome. Check some of that stuff out in the back. Oh, you're good, brother. You're good. Just, yep. Like I said, he's got so much stuff here, man. I probably missed a few things, but I just wanted you guys to see some stuff that he's got. Again, just one quick little more scan before we get out of here. Got a bunch of stuff. I can't wait to come back, actually, man. Hopefully, uh, it won't be as... Well, I know it won't be as long because I've got another dentist appointment in about three weeks to a month. So, I should definitely be back and uh, maybe we'll get some more stuff here, guys. But, yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys the front of the store again and get the name so that way you guys can see it and I'll uh, be right back. All right, so man, I've been here for probably about an hour and a half just checking stuff out. Got some really good stuff. Can't wait for you guys to see everything. But once again, that's the, that's the building. Like I said, and all this is going to be updated. He's going to have all that in the front there, I guess, next, by next year. he'll be uh, He's going to be doing some renovating and uh, or building onto here and making it a little bit bigger. But that's the name of the place. 
Circle C. Such an awesome place, guys. Such an awesome guy. And uh, yeah, if you ever hear, like I said, in Waverly, definitely make sure you come check this place out. Freaking awesome retro game store. But all right, now let's get on to some of the stuff that I got. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get right into the stuff that I was able to get. And I spent about an hour and a half there, uh, you know, looking at stuff, talking to the guy. It was probably closer to like two hours. Um, I, I love retro game stores, especially this one. It's, it's been easily about a year and a half or even longer since I have been there. I want to say it was closer to like two years since the last time that I've been to this guy's store. And so he's obviously has some more stuff in there, some stuff that he, you know, not there that he used to have. But anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, I love going there. I love talking to the guy. He, he's such an awesome dude and it's his store. So, but <clears throat> he threw me this game in for free and it was Qbert for the 5200. Now, the reason why I got this one free and there was another one here that I got free as well. Um, the labeling is actually starting to, it's, it's like coming off of it. It's coming off. I will be able to fix this though. So that that's that's pretty awesome that I was uh, he gave it to me for free because of that. I already have Cubert in my in my collection, but I wasn't you know I'm not going to turn down something free. So he gave me that for free. Such an awesome dude, man. And then I got this one, which it needs to be cleaned up. And then I got to figure out what it is. But this mystery uh, 5200 game, <clears throat> I'm, I'm I don't know what it is. So I have to obviously boot up my 5200, get it all nice and clean because it is pretty dusty in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Kind of nasty, uh, but free. Take free all day long. I always say that. I'll take free all day long. So <clears throat> got both of those for free. And I got some more 5200 games. I, I'm telling you right now, this guy is awesome, man. And especially, you know, if you're going in there, you're super cool with him, super nice. And you guys are talking back and forth, interacting, man, he will even cut you in more of a deal. But obviously, the more you buy, the more of a deal you're going to get. So, but I picked up this one as well. And I got quite a few 5200 games, man, just because he brought them out. He didn't even have them out on display uh he, he just said hey, hey you so you click for the 5200 because we were talking about the 5200 or whatever and he just brought me a stack of them now I, there was some that i didn't grab because i already have them and i wasn't getting them for free so i was just like i'm not gonna you know pay for doubles or whatever uh but super breakout so if you guys can see that super breakout for the 5200 didn't have that one so pretty cool to add that one in to the collection. Here's another one, uh, Missile Command. Also for the 5200, obviously. Didn't have that one either. I didn't have any of this, so. Pole Position. Now I have Pole Position on the 2600 and Pole Position 2, and then Pole Position for the 7800 as well. And I think Pole Position 2 for that as well. But I didn't have it for the 5200. So I went ahead and grabbed it up. Uh, love Pole Position. Uh, let's see, Star Raiders. Now this is an awesome game. The labeling's a little bit, got some wear on it. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to it, but. Either way, awesome freaking game, Star Raiders. Let's see. And then uh, Galaxian. And the labeling on this one is really good. So that's the 5200 stuff that I was able to grab up. Some pretty good, some pretty good ones in there. Pretty excited about that uh, to be able to add those. And those other ones, like I said, the Qbert, man, I'll fix the label on that. And we'll just probably just throw it into my trade pile um, and then figure out what that mystery game is, of course. Okay, so now let's, let's, I did get, obviously I got a few other things here. Um, Arch Rivals for the NES. Yes, 
It's an awesome game, awesome game. Even better on the arcades. If anybody ever played this in the arcades, man, such an such an awesome game. Kind of led the way for the NBA Jam series, in my opinion. Maybe I, this did come out. Yeah, this came out for the before the NBA Jam. I don't know. It's a an awesome game, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty daggone good on the NES as well. Definitely, obviously, better in the arcades. But and then up next, Commando for the NES. Did not have this one in my collection either. So really happy to add both of those in as well. And then we've got, okay, now this one, this one kind of caught my eye because it's made by Capcom. Uh, Capcom. Um, I, I feel like I've heard of this game before, but but I don't know. The label is really cool, and I've never owned it before. Uh, and it just it caught it caught my eye, and I was just like, man, hey, I need that. I need that game. I need that in my collection. But Viper. Let me see if we can get you get it pretty close so you guys can see that. Made by Capcom. Has anybody heard of this game? Viper. It's not one that I've heard of. I, like I said, I feel like I've heard of it, I, I but I, I've never played it in, in, unless I have forgotten. I, I honestly do not remember this game at all. Super cool uh, label, though, man. Look at that. Super awesome. I don't know. I, I'm excited to try this one out. Of course, clean the the, the, the pin connector on there, man, and, and and try it out. Super, super excited to give that one a shot. Made by Capcom, man. It's got to be good, right? Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, up next. Now, this one, I, I used to have this one, and I'm super excited to get it back in my collection. It's not like a super rare game or anything like that. Um, but it's really awesome game. I remember playing it many, many, many years ago, and it's one that I've been wanting to get back in my collection for quite some time now, and the labeling on it is amazing, but Shadowgate, see if I can get that for you. See, yeah, there we go. Look at that. The labeling is just amazing on it, dude. Such. Is anybody, does anybody remember this game? Man, pretty awesome game uh one one i'm excited to get back into my collection and actually load up and and put some time into really freaking awesome game uh up next now i know i know early in the video you guys saw some of the master system games i kind of wish i would have grabbed maybe like a couple of more some of them already had um <clears throat> but yeah next time i go which in the earlier in the video well no you guys didn't see that part because i didn't record that part but i i have another appointment out in that area um in a month exactly like a month from now so i'm definitely going to be going back and grabbing some other stuff up that i i was thinking and debating on grabbing so i'm definitely going to be making another video on that one and grabbing up some more stuff but outrun for the mega uh, uh, mega drive uh for the master system how awesome is this game right here man any fans of this one right here outrun come on guys i know i know i know the true fans out there know what this game is man awesome freaking game dude so excited to get this and the tabs still in place has a little bit of dust up here. I'll get that off, but tab still in place. It's in perfect condition. Oh, look at that. So, so crisp. The game is in really good condition as well, too, guys. Super excited to add that one in to my Sega Master System collection. And next, the tab's not on it, but the, the case is in still really uh, pretty good really good shape actually really good shape it's just the tabs not on there but i did not have this one in the collection i have it on uh on the nes which i know I saw a lot of people don't even know that it is even, even on the nes uh but shinobi shinobi yes dude yes 
Such an awesome, awesome, awesome game, dude. So glad. I used to have this one back in the days, man. Uh, so very, very excited to get it back into my Sega Master System collection. Yes, freaking awesome, dude. And like I said, case is in good shape. Uh, the label's in good shape, too. It has like a little bit of, if you, if you can see, a little hair, like, like you know, but it's, it's not frayed or anything like that or coming off in pretty good shape. So not as in, as in good shape as the OutRun, but either way, freaking awesome game, dude. Awesome game. Awesome game. Super excited to get that one in to the collection. Okay, now I just I have a few more things here, guys. I wanted to kind of save some of the best for last. And I, in some people's eyes, maybe that was some of the best stuff. But uh, I needed I needed another one of these. And I, I've been debating on getting it on eBay. I've been, I, I hate getting off of eBay, though, man. I really don't like going the eBay route. I would prefer to find it out in the wild at a flea market yard sale. Uh or, you know, a, a, a cool retro store, and especially if they're super awesome and super nice with you, and they'll cut you a deal on some stuff, man. That's all I'm about, get some deals. I ain't trying to, I don't, I don't, I ain't trying to pay a whole lot of money, man, especially with the way that the market is nowadays, man, with retro stuff. But the dog bone, yes, dude. The NES... Nintendo dog bone controller, dude. And this thing is minty, minty, fresh, minty, fresh condition, dude. So excited to get this in. Such an awesome controller. Oh my goodness. So amazing. Awesome controller, man. If anybody's ever played one of those, I know, I know you had, it was the from the top down, uh, the top NES loader or whatever. Awesome, awesome controller, man. Awesome freaking controller. Uh, let's see. Okay, up next. Now, I have never owned, uh, what I'm about to show you, I've never owned one of these, ever, ever have I ever owned one of these. I've seen them, I knew what they were before, uh, you know, I've seen them or whatever, but I've never actually owned one. Um, I had the regular multi-tap that you could actually plug in but this one, I've never had this one. And it's the wireless. It's called the NES, uh, the, the Nintendo NES uh, satellite. So if anybody knows what this is, it is a wireless multi-tap for the NES. Yes. And so what you would do is you would plug this part in. This is the, the sensor or whatever, you know. So you plug this into the NES console. And then, of course, and it's got the infrared or whatever, the sensor that would go through there. And then you have your multi-tap. Weird design, man, the way that they designed this thing. It, it's super cool, though. So this part would point at that part. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and, of course, it has the four where you could plug in four controllers. And it's got the turbo on both sides and you could actually push it in and it'd be turbo for the A and B button, you know, the button for those controllers. And then of course, you know, you've got your controller button here and then you can also switch it over to the gun, the NES gun. So you could use it on there. Super awesome. The only bad thing about this, and, as, and of course, it's got to be at a RAN somewhere. You know, back in the days, they didn't have it to where you could just plug this thing up and charge it. So it does take batteries. So that's kind of the down thing. This thing is in mint, mint condition, guys. Mint condition. Superman, when I seen it, I was just like, oh, boy, hey, what's, what's up with that? Um, but anyway, so it takes six, six type c batteries not the real real big one the d ones but the ones next they're still big but six of those things dude so that was kind of the only like kind of negative thing that i could think about uh about it but man this was i this this was released in 1989 if i'm not mistaken 
Um, so it was, it came out of a, a few years after the NES was already out, but you know, NES was still pumping out games for a long time. Um, so this thing was pretty freaking awesome. Now the normal, uh, cord for the NES, um, controllers was, I believe it was like seven foot, seven and a half foot or something like that. So this could actually, as long as, as, long as it was, you know, it, it was able to read, you know, obviously you couldn't have it not facing each other, but this gave you like an extra 15 or 15 and a half foot, I believe is what it gave you. So you didn't, so you didn't have to be right, right there close to it. So with that seven, seven and a half foot plus another 15 some foot, Hey, you were, you had some good distance. Obviously you could scoot it up closer, but man, that was, that was pretty freaking, you know, good, you know, so that way you didn't have to be right there up on the thing. And a lot of times, especially as the years went on and you know, the, the NES, you know, sometimes you barely even hit that thing. So not to have to be right, you know, connected to it. Uh, I don't know that I had to grab it and he cut me a super, super awesome deal on this thing, dude. And like I said, I got, I got everything here was was crazy priced um and i've got one more thing to show you guys dude and this was this is the this is what i'm really super excited about for what i got um sorry i dragged on on that story a lot of people haven't maybe even seen that so i had to like go into detail a little bit um but up next this is okay so many of you probably had one i had one at one time uh I've been trying to get one back in the collection. So I'm super excited to, to being able to get this, but the Super Nintendo Super Scope 6, dude. Oh my goodness. Look at this, the box. The box is in awesome freaking condition, guys. Look, look at it. This thing is in awesome 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 shape dude and i don't even know exactly I, I i've glanced a couple of times on ebay uh trying to figure out you know how much these things were going for in the video he had earlier when you was watching it if you go back I, he had two two or three of these sitting up there i think it was two and I asked, I, I, I wanted the better, the better box. The other one was a pretty decent box too. It was pretty good, but this one was even in better shape. And I was like, that's the one I want. Mate, I asked him if everything was inside of it. He said everything was inside. Everything was inside. So let's, t let, not, not saying that I know I, he's an honest guy, dude, a really awesome guy, but let's, let's check and see if everything is inside. Um, because like I said, I haven't, it's been a long time since I've even checked what these things were going for. And I know that they're pretty, pretty pricey, especially if you have everything. So let's make it real quick, real quick uh, before we get out of here. And let's check it out. Look at that, dude. All the original, let me put this box down real quick. Mess that up or crinkle it all up. But so this is the, the, the insert, which is in really good shape. This comes on, you know, came on top of it. I'm trying to get it in the picture. This comes in the top of it to cover it. Uh, I'm trying to bend none of this stuff. Let me put this down real quick. So, okay, so right off the gate, I can already tell that everything is in here. Okay, so the booklet, the booklet's got a couple of crinkles in it, man. That's, that's fine, though. It's, it's here. So we have the super, the super scope instruction booklet, freaking awesome that that's in there. Of course, the game, got to have the game in there, man. And it is, it is in super, super great condition in the plastic, which obviously, you know, you can take that out. Let's just take it out real quick so I can just show you the quality of this game man of how good it is condition wise super awesome dude super freaking awesome get that back in the plastic real quick like 
I'm not going to put all this back together. I'll do that off video, but I did want to show you guys that it was complete. Uh, like I said, I, I'm just now opening it myself to make sure. Uh, let's see here, put that over to the side. The scope, of course, has the awesome, and, and, it's in it, and, and dude, I'm telling you guys, when I'm getting ready to show you it all, but this is in really, really nice condition. No yellowing, no no scuff marks. It's not dirty at all. Super nice condition. Of course, here's where you plug it in. So that way you can, you know, so you can, this, uh, I need to think right now. <laughs> so excited. Uh, so that the sensor, the sensor, pretty much like the sensor bar. That back in there real quick. And then, of course, yes, dude. Yes. Look at this in excellent, excellent condition, man. Oh my goodness. And of course, like I said, you put the scope and for whatever side that you wanted, you know, it's got the side for the, for the left side and the right. And of course the tabs are all on there. Nothing's broken. So it's whatever side that you wanted it on. Um, oh, dude, super excited. Super excited to be able to have this back in the collection, dude. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be going right back in this box. It will get some playtime out of it from me. I guarantee you that. But like I said, I'm not gonna put all this back together. Uh, just keep that there for right now. But yeah, man, I was trying to make this video a little bit quick. I hope it didn't run over too long, but I was super excited to get this up and, and show you guys what I got from that awesome, awesome store. Um, this is going to be a part of a series. Obviously, I've got several things on the channel, and I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I'm trying to give a little bit of everything, stuff that I love to do uh, and, and, and go and my, my, my flea market hunts, my yard sale hunts. And I wanted to add this in as a series as well, me going to, you know, retro game stores, which, you know, I don't go all the time. But I, I go frequently, you know, I go quite often uh, when I can, I, I should say. So I kind of wanted to add that in, especially if some really cool retro stores, you know, really cool retro stores, not 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 some of these that are that, you know, that have more new stuff than retro. Um, so anytime I can go to a really good one, I'm going to try to record it and show what I've got from there as well, especially if the people were really awesome and let me do it. I got to steal. I got to steal for this. I'm not going to break down everything that I that I that I paid for because I got it all as a bundle. But I'm. I will tell you real quick. I'm not sure what this scope goes for. I know that it's up there in price, but I'm going to tell you right now. Like I said, I'm not going to break everything down. But it was roughly around ten dollars for what everything that I, you know breaking everything down that scope was about ten dollars is what it cost me guys i already know i don't even have to look it up i already know that's a steal especially everything inside the box and it's mint mint condition super awesome man so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys I hope you guys want, you know, something like this on, on, on the channel, uh, you know, me going to retro game stores too. If you did, uh, make sure you obviously leave down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you like the video, like always, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do that as well. I really appreciate it. It goes a long ways, guys. It helps out a lot. And uh, that's going to be it for today. Like always, you guys have a great one. Until next video, game on.